Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's time for my February wrap up where I read 26 books. I was able to black out my bingo board for the rom-com Soonathon, which was a month-long readathon hosted by the Sweeney Readers, which is a romance book club that I host with my besties Nikki, Karina, and Kehlani, and they are all linked down below. The Sweeney Readers Instagram and the Thrills and Chills Instagram will be linked down below. Thrills and Chills is a thriller book club that me and Nikki host together. As always, since this is my monthly wrap-up, I will have a giveaway at the end, so stay tuned. This was a pretty hefty month of reading. I didn't read as much as I wanted to because of work. I had some really time consuming things that were going on with work at the beginning of the month. So you'll see some of the books that I read were really quick audios, but I had to do what I had to do to black out the bingo board, okay? So get your snack, get your coffee, your drink, relax, and I'm gonna tell you about the 26 books that I read. Okay, so I'm gonna pop a picture on the screen, but I read the Improbable Me Cute series. It's like an Amazon exclusive series, but if you have like KU and you check out the KU version of the book, you get the Audible version for free. These are six short rom-com novellas written by different authors. We have The Exception to the Rule by Christina Lauren. I gave that four stars. The Worst Wing Man Ever by Abby Jimenez, five stars. Rosie and the Dreamboat by Sally Thorne, gave it four stars. Drop Cover and Hold On by Jasmine Guillory, and I gave that one four stars. With Any Luck by Ashley Poston, and that one was four stars. We were doing so good. Then we get to the last one, Royal Valentine by Soraya Wilson two stars. Okay, that one wasn't great, but the other ones were really good. I enjoyed them so much. Next, we have Done and Dusted by Lila Sage. Like, grab my boots and my cowgirl hat because giddy up, y'all. I gave this four stars. This was so, so good. So cute. Luke Brooks in this book, he was incredible, and I think I fell in love with him. This is like small town brother's best friend. It's like a mix of friends to lovers and enemies to lovers. Honestly, the Goodreads tags are very conflicted on this, okay? Very conflicted. It gives the vibes of both though, I will say. But this was so good. I can't wait to read the sequel. Um, if you are trying to enter into your like cowboy romance era, pick up Done and Dusted. Just do it, okay? Next up, we have King of Wrath by Anna Huang. <laughs> Dante Russo! <laughs> I love you, Dante. I love you, Dante. This was five stars. This is the first book in the Kings of Sin series, which is a spinoff of the Twisted series. If you've been here for like any length of time on my channel, then you know how much I love the Twisted series. Josh Chen, it's me and you five ever, baby. But Dante Russo, you were a brilliant start. You were a brilliant start to this series, okay? Next, I have Rule of the Kingdom by Rena Kent. And um, really, what can I say? You know, two stars. <laughs> Rena and I haven't had much luck, but I'm not giving up yet. I'm not giving up yet. This was a prequel novella for the Kingdom Duet, which follows Jonathan, who is a parent of a character in the Royal Elite series that I DNF'd. <laughs> so, you know, we'll see how the first full length novel in the Kingdom Duet goes to see if I continue on with that, or if I just DNF that series and move on to the next one, because all of this is just trying to be on the journey to get to the Legacy of God series. Next, I have Bittersweet Chocolate, and I cannot say the last name, but it I will make sure the picture is here so you can see. This was unhinged, like really, really unhinged, okay? I think it was only like 91 pages and believe me when I tell you things happened. Things happened in those 91 pages. It was wild. The feminine rage was feminining and raging, honey, okay? Like it was doing all the things, all the things. Probably a lot of unnecessary things, but a lot of things were happening. And I don't know why, but I, I enjoyed it. I gave it four stars. I will say though, check the trigger warnings because those 91 pages really pack a punch, okay? It's a lot going on in there. Next, we have House of Flame and Shadow by Sarah J. Bass. This just wasn't it, okay? It wasn't it. I think it might have been a cry for help. Like, I think Sarah Janet might have been trying to reach us and tell us that something's not right and she needs help because the level of writing in this is not the level of writing that I've come to know and love. This is my 16th SJM book. So I feel like, you know, I know what her writing is like and I know the story she can tell and the emotion that she can bring out of me. And this one just did not hit. I just keep saying like the plot had more holes in Swiss cheese, but I'm just gonna like stop myself there and I'm gonna link down below the live show for Amanda's book club. She was so kind to ask me to be a guest host when she was reading House of Flame and Shadow. And so if you want my in-depth thoughts and my literal list of grievances, Click the link down below and you can go and check out Amanda's, you know, live show for this book because I just, you know, I don't think I even want to talk about it anymore, but two stars. Next up, we have Rewrite Our Story by Kat Singleton. And oh my gosh, you guys, I gave this five glorious stars. I had tried to read this back in June of 2023 and I got into it and I was loving it and then I didn't finish it. And it was nothing about the book. Like, I don't even want to say like I soft DNF'd it. I literally just got distracted by like a lot of other things that was going on. But in February, I was able to pick it back up and you know, I started from the beginning and it was just absolutely incredible. Next, I have The Score by L. Kennedy. I gave this four stars. Like Dean De Laurentiis, I love you. I love you. 
this is book three in the off campus series this is like a college hockey romance series and i've been enjoying it so 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 much i can't wait to finish the series so that i can move on to the spin-off series next i have harry potter and the chamber of secrets by jk rowling i gave this five stars this is actually my least favorite movie and it'll probably end up being my least favorite book but i still gave it five stars do not judge me do not judge me it was just so magical and my joy from reading the series for the first time overwhelms me into giving five stars is it really five stars i don't know but this one i'm standing by it don't judge me i don't have reasons why it's five but it's five okay next i have one in rome by sarah adams this was so sweet it is closed door you know so low spice but it is just so 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 good we got a celebrity small town grumpy sunshine um, you know, like little cinnamon roll of a man. Just, ah, I loved it so much. I can't wait to read the next book in this series. I plan on reading that in March. So fingers crossed that gets done. Next, I have No Place to Hide by Harper Ashley and Ren Hawthorne. I gave this four stars. This was a reread. If you were there in the comments for the um, sprint session where, you know, we were talking about this, then you know the carny love is real. Okay, the carny love is real. Don't go into this book for plot. Don't go into this book for plot and then come back at me being like, you like that? You like it? I did. I did like it. I did like it, actually. It's funny because I looked back at my review on Goodreads for it and I said something like, um, you know, I like this and I don't know what that says about me, but I really, you know, like I don't want to know. I don't want to know what it means. Next, I have The Predator and the Reaper by Rune Nix. I gave both of these five stars. This is book one and book two in the Dark Fur series. These are mafia, but like heavy on the mafia in comparison to like the Brutal Birthright series by Sophie Lark, which is incredible, at least what I've read of it. I'm not throwing any shade to the Brutal Birthright series because I really do love them, but these ones just have more mafia. So if you're looking for more mafia, these ones have it. Tristan Kane, <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is about him, but he's got my heart. Next, I have Real by Kennedy Ryan. I gave this five stars. This was a February pick for the Sweeney readers, and I just loved reading this so much. Like, I cried. It was emotional. It wasn't, like, the most emotional thing ever. I'm not saying, like, I was, like, sobbing, 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 but I was crying, trying to read through my tears. The representation in this book is just so absolutely incredible, and it's such a beautiful love story. I will make sure to link the live show down below if you want to hear me and all the besties talk about our thoughts about this book. Next, we have Scarlet by Marissa Meyer. This is book two in the Lunar Chronicle series. Me and my besties are making our way through this series, and I've really been enjoying the journey. I gave this one four stars. I can't wait to see where the storylines converge because, you know, things are happening, and I just need to see how it all comes together. Captain Thorne gave some good comedic relief in this book, and I'm just really invested to see what happens with him. Like, I have an idea where his story is going, and um, I think I'm right. I mean, obviously, I think I'm right, but we'll see if I'm right or if I'm wrong. Next, I have What Lies in the Woods by Kate Alice Marshall. I gave this five stars. This was a perfect thriller. Perfect thriller. The twists were twisting. The turns turned. I was like, oh my gosh, where are we going? Where are we going? What's happening? And I enjoyed the journey so much. Nikki recently read this and she gave it like such a raving review that I was like, all right, bet I've got to read it. And it didn't disappoint. It did not disappoint. I was reading so much romance in February that I really, really needed a thriller. And so this one hit, like this one hit exactly how it needed to. Next, I have Son of a Beach by Mia Sosa. I gave this three stars. This was one of those really quick audios that are available um, if you have an Audible subscription. And I needed to hit a prompt, okay? I needed to hit workplace. This is like enemies to lovers on a work trip. It's really cute. It just didn't blow me away. It's not the most incredible thing, but it was definitely enjoyable. Which leads me to The Perfect Play by G.S. Carr. Another quick audio, but man, did I enjoy this one so, so, so much. I gave it four stars. This is brother's teammate, professional football player, wake up in Vegas, hungover and married. Like I ate it up. I ate it up. Next, I have 20 Years Later by Charlie Donnelly. I gave this four stars. This was the February pick for Thrills and Chills. I'll make sure to link the live show down below if you want to hear all of our thoughts about this, but I really enjoyed this. This was my first Charlie Donnelly and I feel safe in saying that it won't be my last. I am interested in reading more from him. Next, I have Same Time Next Year by Tessa Bailey. I gave this four stars. I really enjoyed this one. I am a fan of Marriage of Convenience and Fake Dating and what it, you know, they did both in this. Also a hockey romance and a brother's teammate and I just really ate it up. I enjoyed this one so much. It definitely had some very funny descriptions in this book that had me and Karina like laughing and just being like what was she thinking? Like what was she thinking? All in all though I enjoyed it so 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 much and you know I, I think I'm gonna be reading more from Tessa Bailey in the future. Now we're on to read 26 and let me tell you I definitely saved the best for last. And when I tell you it was the last like I finished this with not a minute to spare on the last day of the readathon and I was I was working hard. If you were there in the sprints then you know I was like oh my god I gotta finish it I gotta finish it but I did besties I did. Better than the movies by Lynn Painter. 
five stars. Like, ugh, I cannot stop thinking about this. I can't stop thinking about this. I could reread it right now. It was just so incredible. I really cannot stop thinking about this. I don't read much YA anymore, but Lynn Painter did YA right in this, okay? She did it correct. This really was the perfect book for rom-com Soonathon. It had so many rom-com movie quotes and references in there. I was eating it up. There were Taylor Swift references in there because Lynn Painter is a Swifty. And I'm a new Swifty, like I'm not tried and true. And I just wanna say thank you for welcoming me into the club, you know? But I was just eating it up. I was eating up the rom-com movie references and the Taylor Swift references. This is Childhood Friends, Fake Dating, a dash of love triangle with a splash of tears and a lot of laughter, okay? It was just so good. I keep saying that, but I just need you to read it, okay? Please, please read it. If you do read this book, I highly recommend reading the very short story, Better Than the Prom. You get a POV from another character and it was just so good. So good. If you can't tell, I want you to read this. Pick it up right now. Do it, please, please. For me, for you, for all of us, just pick it up. So that's all 26 books. I have some notes on my computer. I had three two stars, one three star, 13 four stars, and nine five stars. That is such a drastic change from January because January had some real big misses, okay? I will say though, this month I read things that I was pretty confident I was gonna love. So like the numbers don't really surprise me, but I do love to see them. Okay, so now for the giveaway. I do like to do a giveaway for one of the books that I read in the month. All you have to do to enter is make sure you are subscribed to my channel and leave a comment down below and tell me which book you would like to win. The giveaway will be open for three days after I post this video. Check the description box and I will have like the date and time that the giveaway closes. After the giveaway closes, I will make sure to comment back to the person who won and then you can give me the Instagram handle so I can contact you to get you your book. You can get a physical, an ebook, an audiobook, however you want the book, you can get it as long as I can Amazon Prime it to you, okay? <laughs> I just want to say that if your privacy settings are set to hide who you are subscribed to, then I won't be able to see if you are subscribed to my channel. Make sure you comment and let me know which book you'd like to win. Also, let me know if you've read any of these books. Like, do we think the same? Are we completely different on some of these books? Let me know. Let me know. We can have a conversation. If you enjoyed hanging out, and I really hope you did, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, and you know, all those, all those YouTube things. But that's it. That's all I've got. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!